going on everybody today i'm bringing you the much requested fl studio life hacks so let's get started hack number one push chords today we're going to be using a freeware vst called chords just google it and you'll find it it's a it's free so you know you don't have to pay shit now with chords you can use the minor or major scale or any scales that it already has and then choose any note that you want the key of the song to be in just hit apply and it will give you the scale of notes now what you would have to do is link it to any vst to get a sound so hit the gear on the vst and make sure the input of your instrument is matching the output of the chords vst and you'll get a sound Now the great thing about this is you can use this when you have beat block. You can find new chords that fit in the scale and you can build ideas off of this. It's helped me many of times even when I've had beat block. FL Studio Hack 2 Secret Menus now i'm a very visual person so what i like to do is actually see the patterns and see the sounds now to get this menu where you can see all your patterns just click the scroll wheel to the left and this will pop up great because if you have if you're a person that works on a lot of patterns and comes up with different ideas you can literally find the sound and then just highlight it and find the patterns FL Hack 3, BPM Calculator. A lot of people experience this kind of trouble where they stretch a uh, sample or they get a sample that's sent to them and you can't find the actual pitch. So what BPM Calculator does is help you see the exact amount of semitones that it's at. So if I have a loop at 53 and I change the BPM to 84 and I just hit apply pitch, I can keep everything in key. There's a lot of features on this website, so uh, definitely experiment. This helps, this helps like Logic users, Ableton users, a whole bunch of people. FL Studio hack number four, get to kits faster. We all have like our favorite kits, but sometimes I notice in other people's workflow, they go through like so many different folders. What you can do is just pull up the sound and just drag it to the browser and all the kits will well the kit where that sound is will pop up easy so if i have like a good kit that i use but it's buried and you know, i'm trying to get the idea out fast all i gotta do is drag it fl studio hack 5 open vst effects faster well vst effects sometimes i just like to just rather than clicking all of them I like to see them all at once. That way I don't have to go back. So um, all you have to do is go to the highlighted effects tab under the actual, uh, under the mixer track and then just right click it. And then to, you know, make everything disappear, all you have to do is just right click it again and all the VSTs will disappear. It's very helpful when you have a whole bunch of like effects and you can't find them. It's way organized. Hack number six, make kicks and 808s fit together. Now the problem I see with kicks and 808s is sometimes when I listen to people's beats and they like they reach out, they're not, they don't fit. So I got a basic kick and the Metro 808, the Spins 808. I'm gonna play them both together so that way you can hear and you let me know if they fit. Now in every tab, you're gonna see reverse polarity. That means it's flipping the actual wave. Now the reason why your kicks and 808s don't fit together and they don't hit 
it's because they're clashing the waveforms are clashing which cancels them out which makes the kick thinner now what you're going to want to do is just you know play around with it uh flip it you know if you see an inverse or in in phase button that's basically what it is now i'm making a duplicate to show you before and after I get asked about kicks and 808s and you know uh, I see like all these people doing like throwing like EQs and all this other shit and honestly you don't have to do that. Boy Wonders engineer actually you know put me on game to this. So the yellow is going to be in phase or out of phase and the gray is going to be in phase. So you tell me which sticks out better, because to me, you know, the out of phase one, that one it hits harder and it meshes well together. So like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys for making the Goosebumps video and the first FL hacks hit over 100k. That's a lot of love. Um, definitely look out for more content. I got way more shit on the way. <laughs>